Hello and welcome to this airline reservations exercise. So let me just show you what we are going to be creating. So we have a basic form with a list and three text boxes and we are going to populate a seating chart for an airplane. So let's say I'm going to add a name with a seat to A. I click add passenger and you can see that the list populated with a seating chart with seat 2a being marked as taken while all the others are still empty. So if I go and try to add let's say another passenger to 3a seat so you can see that 3a seat is now populated. If I do 10d, 10d is now populated. And note that I have now two passengers with name Pavel 2. So if I go to show passengers I have three passengers, two of them with Pavel 2. And note that we will be also ordering the list based on the seed row and column, not alphabetically. So they will go from seed and not by name. And let's say I'm going to delete a passenger, so I'm going to search for a name. Let's say I'm going to delete Pavel 2. And currently I have two passengers with that name. So I'm going to delete 3A seed uh, with Pavel 2 name on it ask if delete passenger, I click yes, and you can see that 3A seed was removed and is now empty. Another functionality is of course to validate the user input. For example, if I don't enter anything and try to add a passenger, it says name is required. If I type anything, it says the seed row is required. And if I type invalid seed row, remember seed row in this case would be from 1 to 10. If I type 11, seed 11 8 it doesn't exist so it tells me that the valid seed row is required if I do 10 a then it adds the passenger there and we will also have functionality when the airplane is full then if we try to add another passenger that passenger will be added to the waiting list and when a passenger is deleted from the seating and the airplane is full and there are some passengers on the waiting list, then the passenger from the waiting list will be moved to the seating chart, replacing the passenger that was just deleted. So let me just show you that. So here I added 40 passengers. If I click show passengers, you can see that I have 40 of them and you can see again that they are ordered by the seat. So when I now try to delete a passenger, so let's say I'm going to delete passenger with the seat 10C and you can see I didn't really type any names, just a bunch of letters. But I'm going to delete this seat 10C and click yes, the passenger was removed. And currently there was no passenger on the waiting list, so the seat is simply available. So if I now type Peter for the seat 10C, Peter is going to be added there. But if I type Peter 2 and try to add Peter 2 to a plane, it says plane is full because there's 40 passengers, should we place the passenger on the waiting list? So I click yes, and if I click show passengers, you can see Peter 2 is now added to the list with no seat because Peter 2 is on a waiting list. So let me just delete a passenger. And I have a bunch of passengers with this name, so I'm going to delete passenger with seat 10A. And if I do that, I get a message that passenger was deleted from that list, but Peter 2 was moved from waiting list to seat 10A. So if I go to show passengers, you can see Peter, Peter 2 was added to seat 10A. 10A is still taken, but this time it's taken by Peter 2. If I try to delete Peter 2, I only have one passenger with that name, I'll delete it. You can see 10A is now available because again there were no other passengers on the waiting list. Alright, so this is the project that we are going to be working on. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun, I hope you learn a lot of things. So let's get started.